If you want a car that can give you diesel economy and low emissions but runs on petrol and doesn't have the hassle of having to carry around charging cables to keep the battery topped up, then you want a normal hybrid car. So here's the car I top 10 best hybrids. If you want your hybrid to fly under the radar like an RAF jet gone AWOL, then you'll love the Kia Nero. Its conventional styling hides a petrol electric engine that returns 65 miles per gallon, according to Kia, and you get a 100,000 mile seven year warranty that gives you the kind of peace of mind you'll get at a South Korean temple retreat. Inside, the Nero has space for four adults, but the design is dull. And if you're banking on having a huge boot, you'll be disappointed because it's quite small. Choosing a small hybrid is a little bit like using Tinder in the middle of nowhere. Options are limited. In fact, the Toyota Yaris is the only one you've got. Its clever petrol electric engine means it should be able to get economy of around 70 miles per gallon. And Toyota's legendary build quality means you can expect the clever tech to be 100% reliable. It's also practical for its size with five doors and a spacious interior. But while the cabin's durable, it does feel rather cheap. If you want a family car with hybrid power but don't want to be mistaken for an Uber driver, then the Hyundai Ioniq's your answer. Its petrol electric engine should be able to return around 65 miles per gallon and it's easy to drive in town. However, at higher speeds, fuel economy does tumble as the Ioniq works hard to keep up with fast moving traffic. Tight rear headroom also means tall adults will feel squeezed in the back. Maybe that's why Uber drivers prefer a Prius. The Lexus ES is the posh saloon to go for if you find buying a BMW, Audi or Mercedes just too predictable. In the UK, this Lexus is only available with a hybrid petrol electric engine, but it can return mid 40 miles per gallon fuel economy, which is impressive for a car of this size. Inside, the Lexus rivals a solid block of granite for build quality, and it also has spacious back seats. Unfortunately, its infotainment system is so hard to operate that it makes breaking the Enigma code seem simple. If you're looking for a posh hybrid SUV, then the Lexus RX is an obvious choice. Its smooth six-cylinder petrol engine is very relaxing, but it's also boosted by an electric motor to return fuel economy of 40 miles per gallon, which is pretty blooming good for an SUV, especially one that isn't a diesel. Inside, you can get space for up to seven people if you have the RXL version, and build quality is brilliant. But you also get a relatively small boot and an infotainment system so complicated it makes space flight look like a piece of cake. The Honda CRV is great if you're looking for a hybrid SUV that's spacious and comfortable. Inside, it feels solidly built, there's loads of room for four adults, and you get a massive boot. The CRV is very quiet and relaxing to drive, so it's a shame the infotainment system is just so complicated to use while you're driving. A slightly bigger problem is the fact that the CRV's fuel economy isn't that great for a hybrid. You'll struggle to get around 35 miles per gallon. The Lexus UX is a posh small SUV that dares to be different, with a body that's got more folds and creases than a schoolboy's shirt. It's got a 2 litre petrol engine that returns 50 miles per gallon with the helping hand of an electric motor. Inside you get the bulletproof build quality expected of a Lexus, but also a terrible infotainment system. Yes, there is a theme here people. Oh, and interior space is a little bit disappointing even for a smaller SUV. The Toyota Prius was the first mass-produced hybrid when it went on sale in 1997, and it's still one of the very best. It's a relaxing car to drive with a petrol-electric hybrid engine that can return fuel economy of around 80 miles per gallon. Impressive, even for a hybrid. Inside, the Prius has plenty of space in the back for most adults, a big boot, and a swoopy design to mirror the funky exterior styling. Shame the infotainment screen's graphics belong in a 1980s video game. The Honda NSX uses its hybrid engine to go fast, not save fuel. It combines a turbocharged 3.5 litre V6 with no less than three electric motors to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles an hour in less than three seconds. That said, it's still a Honda, so it's easy to drive, comfortable and reasonably practical for a two-seater supercar. Unfortunately, the clever technology that makes the NSX so quick also makes it a little less involving to drive than normal petrol engine supercars. It might be called the Toyota Corolla, but this is actually the replacement for the old Aris, a car famous for being dull as ditch water. However, things have changed. The new Corolla doesn't just look brilliant, it's brilliant to drive too. Toyota's not lost its sensible hat though, because you can choose from 1.8 and 2 litre petrol electric hybrids, 
that are both return more than 50 miles per gallon. Inside, you get a stylish high quality interior with space for four and a big boot. Even the average infotainment system doesn't stop the Corolla being the ultimate hybrid. Oh, and you can get it in a slightly more roomy estate and saloon version too. Really, the Corolla isn't only an excellent hybrid, it's an excellent car overall. If you enjoyed this video, please click on our logo to subscribe to this channel or to watch more content on the bottom right hand corner. However, if you want to save money on a car, click on the right to go to our deals page to see how much money you can save a car wow.